More than 24 hours after the deadliest shooting in U.S. history, the city of Orlando stands united. And today, as many of those victims are still recovering here in this hospital, more of the names of the people killed inside the club are being released. Today, we're learning much more about the gunman and moments after the shooting. We are now learning more about the people killed inside the club. Officials telling us this morning there are 49 victims. The 50th person is the shooter. We will not be defined by the act of a cowardly hater. We will be defined by how we respond, how we treat each other, and this community has already stepped up to do that. Orlando's mayor, Buddy Dyer, standing with the governor, local and federal agents updating us on efforts to sift through the evidence and learn more about the shooter, 29-year-old Omar Martin. Their first priority, identifying victims and notifying family. The shooter was included in the number at 50. Uh, there are 49 victims. We don't really count the shooter as a victim. Investigators worked through the night to confirm IDs of 48 of the 49 victims, only notifying about half of the families so far. A grueling task for investigators and a wait for loved ones. Mateen pledged his allegiance to ISIS in 911 calls after storming into Pulse nightclub with a handgun and AR-15 style rifle. Today, police tell us after he started shooting, he held hostages in the bathroom. Officers rushing in with bomb vest held Mateen in a standoff and used explosives to blow a hole through the wall, allowing others to escape to safety. The explosive breach uh, did not penetrate uh, the wall completely. We used our armored vehicle, the Bearcat armored vehicle, to punch a hole in that wall and defeat the wall. So there's a there's a hole in the wall about two feet off the ground and about uh, two or three feet wide. Uh, we were able to rescue dozens and dozens of people. Mateen came out through that hole as well, dying in a shootout with police after. Now the community and nation are coming together in complete shock as we deal with the aftermath of the nation's deadliest shooting. The FBI says they did find a third gun in the shooter's car. They also say he remained cool and calm while he called 911 inside the club, pledging his allegiance to ISIS. Reporting in Orlando, Sarah Rosario, NBC News.